Hey, welcome to Boldly Polished. If you don't already know, my name is Selena and I'll be showing you my first impressions on three products. I did not pay for any of them, so you get to see me test out freebies today. The first thing is called Do The Hula. It's by Benefit. This is the box. It is a sample size that I got from Sephora and I believe this box looks just the same as the full size one and the actual product itself. It looks more like a bamboo stick which is quite cute and just like this one you take the lid off and it's a pump. This is a liquid bronzer. It's slightly different from the powder bronzer Hoola. It's more of an orangey and warm tone and it's used differently as well. You can use it three ways. The first way is to apply it on bare skin. It's supposed to give you a natural glow. The second way is just to apply it as a regular bronzer and the third is to mix it with your foundation so in the summer when you're regular liquid foundation is too light for your tan skin then this can add that little bit of a tint to it so it could match your skin tone a little bit better and I'll be testing it in all three ways in this video. The second thing I'll be showing you is a lip pencil by NARS. I am wearing it right now. Ooh. So it just opens up like this. It doesn't turn because it's a sample as well. Well, no, sorry, it's not exactly a sample. I ordered it with um, 100 points through Sephora. And one thing that really annoys me is that the sticker wouldn't peel completely off. So <laughs> I can only imagine any person with OCD where that's just really, really irking them. I am wearing that right now. And I'll just let you know right off the bat that it is kind of bleeding off in the corners. The third item I'll be showing you is the makeup eraser. I received this as a birthday gift and I just never tried it out. I mostly just forgot about it. And I mean, it looks like a towel and the thought of wiping off all my makeup with a towel just didn't seem believable to me. So I've been putting it off and you'll get to see me finally do it. I'm recording this with my phone because the SLR camera I usually use doesn't have autofocus, so very sorry for the downgrade in quality. Anyway, welcome to my blotching, no makeup, no glasses look. Here I'm testing out that first method I had mentioned. In case you forgot already, I'm applying the bronzer all over my face for a supposed sheer, seamless, natural looking tan as benefits suggest. I'm applying this with my Smashbox foundation brush. I bought it way back before they announced they are no longer cruelty free because they decided to sell to China. If you don't already know, cosmetics are legally required to test on poor animals in order to import into China and Smashbox has recently jumped onto this bandwagon. On a lighter note though, I placed an order for some synthetic Morphe brushes this past weekend. Super excited. I think I'm pretty orange looking here. Testing out the NARS lip pencil while I'm at it. It applies pretty smoothly and my lips are dry here, but it doesn't draw attention to it. It does bleed in the corners though, and when I try to wipe it away, it just smudges. Turn my glasses back on. Pretty orange compared to my neck. Wouldn't say it looks like a natural tan, and I'm pretty shiny too. Here's a second method where I'm contouring my cheekbones, jaw, and hairline on top of foundation. Look at me suck my cheeks in like a fool. I apply pretty lightly because I'm heavy handed and was afraid of overdoing it but this is a super super sheer look. So I kept layering it on which eventually started to ball up on my foundation. Which by the way is the Too Faced Born This Way in Light Beige. So as you may know it's a pretty good quality foundation. I can't wait for my Morphe brushes. I'm using a Revolution brush by Royal and Langnickel, which I picked up from iMats last year. I heard they're notorious for never shedding, but they totally shed on me. Working on the hairline now. Don't know why I'm doing this with a brush in my hand. More blending. hairs. 
time for Jaws. No, no. No, no. Kicking it with some blush. Tweed Rose by Chanel, which is a super oldie. It's very discontinued. I've always had to use a stippling brush. I couldn't pick up any product, and that's when it was new, too. I'm using a super cheap brush by Eco Tools. Can't wait for Morphe. Morphe will probably be able to pick up the product better. So dry. Love the color, though. It's all about the blending. Try my glasses to apply the NARS lip pencil again. It looks like I've blended the hula away, even after all that layering. I think the shade just isn't dark enough for me. There's only one shade available, so it's pretty hard to do a one size fits all. Ooh. I don't know what happened to my lighting here, I'm sorry. I'm mixing my Too Faced foundation with the Benefits Dew, the Hula, and I'm using a mixing pan that I also picked up from iMats last year. It's looking pretty pale for my skin tone, and it should be darkening it to give me that natural tan. Not really working out with my skin tone. Super shiny too. It didn't feel sticky though. Blushing it up again. Throwing the NARS lip pencil back on for the last time in this video. Such a pretty color. Definitely lighter than my neck. Lastly, I'm trying out the makeup eraser that I've been so scared of. I keep wanting to call it a magic eraser, but no, I'm not going to wipe my face off with a Mr. Clean product. It's getting rid of my eye makeup pretty easily. I'm impressed. Removing all that do the Hula Too Faced Foundation Blush and Matte Lip Pencil as well. It's really soft. Really didn't think that something that could feel like that. Like just a regular fleece feeling towel could get rid of my makeup. Ew. I'm testing it out by wiping my face with Bioderma. It's really not that bad. The only leftovers are along my hairline, which I probably didn't clean off properly. I definitely won't be buying the Do The Hula. It's just doesn't make enough of a difference in my life for me to spend money on it. As for the NARS, I don't know, I may be bleeding through my lips because um, I have dry corners right now but to be honest I have other lip glosses where it just doesn't bring attention to my dry corners and doesn't bleed through so I don't know I don't think I will be buying this either I do love the color the blue red I mean I'm wearing um, blue red nail polish right now and it's just a shade that I'm really into right now but it's looks like I'm a little bit of a clown or I just ate or something. I was impressed by the makeup eraser. I mean, I haven't washed it yet, but 
This is all the junk that I removed from my face and I was really surprised that it took everything off except for the parts that I didn't scrub hard enough at and that was my own fault really and I mean I'm only using it to remove my makeup I'm not using it to cleanse my face I'm still gonna use my cleanser afterwards so I would actually be buying this it smells pretty good too. I did hear that, um, or not hear, I read on reviews that if you don't wash it, then it could smell really raunchy. So I will definitely be washing it after every single use because otherwise, ew. <laughs> Ew. So I am happy with this and I just want to give a shout out to Alvina. Thank you for this wonderful birthday gift that I put off for two months to finally try out. But I am quite grateful and I hope you enjoyed watching these first impressions with me and do subscribe so you could see more things that Leslie and I have in store for you and comment below to let me know if you have tried any of these products out and let me know what your thoughts are. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great week and stay tuned for the next video by either me or Leslie. We haven't decided yet, but if you don't subscribe, then you will never know.